Hey everyone, I'm Ashif with Softarino and today we're going to go over how to put custom ringtones into your iPhone. We're going to check out three different methods. Method 1 will be using Walter Pro which will let you move M4R ringtone files into your iPhone. Method 2 will be using iRing which I think is the option you should go with because there are so many customization options and it's just one step instead of multiple. Method 3 will be using GarageBand which is definitely the most hands-on method but it's also the most popular. If you want to follow the steps for method 1, use the link in the description below to download your free trial for Walter Pro. All you need is an email address so we can send you the activation link. Let's check this out. After you've downloaded and installed your Walter Pro trial, go ahead and launch it. You'll need to connect your iPhone to your Windows PC using a cable. Then find the M4R ringtone file. If you don't have an M4R file, you can use any online converter to turn any MP3 file into an M4R and then you can use Walter Pro to send it over into your iPhone. Now that the ringtone is sent into your iPhone, go to your settings app, scroll down to sound and haptics, press on ringtone and your custom ringtone should be there. So that was method 1, you need an M4R ringtone file for this method. Method 2 is definitely the best because you don't need any files, you can simply search for the song you want, connect your iPhone to your Windows PC and send it over with one click. If you want to follow along with the steps for method 2, use the link in the description below to download your free iRing trial. You'll get to send a couple of free ringtones into your iPhone before the trial runs out. So let's check out iRing. After you've downloaded and installed iRing, go ahead and launch it. You can either select your own mp3 file or you can search for any song using the search bar or paste any link and you'll be able to send it over to your iPhone. Once you've customized the ringtone to your preferences, simply go ahead and press transfer to iPhone. Now on your iPhone, go to your settings app, scroll down to sound and haptics, then you can select the custom ringtone you just sent over with iRing. Okay, so for method 3, this is definitely the hardest, but it does not require a Windows PC. You'll still need to go ahead and find either an M4R file or an MP3 file, and you'll need to download the GarageBand app on your iPhone. Once you've downloaded GarageBand, go ahead and launch it. You want to press the plus sign on the top right, then press new. Here you want to press on the top left square and press loops. Then go to your files. If you've already downloaded some songs, they'll show up here. If you don't have any of these files, you'll need to go ahead and download either an mp3 file, m4r, or wav file. Here I'll choose the mp3 and press the download sign. Now that that's done, all that's left is to press the record button and press the blue play button. Once you're satisfied with the length, press the record button to stop, then press the top triangle here and press my songs. Now your freshly created song will show up and all you need to do is hold on it, press share, press ringtone, press continue, change the ringtone name if you want, I'll leave it as is, and press export. Now you want to press use sound as and standard ringtone. Now your ringtone is set. So those were the three methods you can use to send custom ringtones into your iPhone. I definitely prefer iRing because as you saw, it was only one step instead of multiple, we didn't have to go through GarageBand, and if you use the trial, you get a couple of free ringtones to use, so go give it a shot. If you found this video helpful, please leave us a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe for more Apple tips. Thanks for watching! Soft Torino. Tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.